If you guys would like to get yourself some official SimC merchandise, check out my Spreadshirt link in the description below for t-shirts, hoodies, mugs and cups. If you do make a purchase, send me a photo on Twitter and I will retweet it. But regardless, let's get stuck into the video. Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 18 career mode. We're playing as Barcelona. This is Season 1, Episode 4, and the final episode of the series. Here today, we have the deciding match potentially in the La Liga campaign. Then we also have the Champions League final against Bayern Munich. So guys, if you still are enjoying this series, <clears throat> just to clear my throat a little bit, my apologies. Yeah, if you guys still are enjoying this series and would like to see more, the best way to ensure more content is leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and let me know in the comment section down below players you'd like me to sign and career modes you would like me to replace this one with. Leave a dislike if you're not happy um, with anything. I don't know. If you're not happy with the series, not enjoying it, let me know in the comments. So, in the La Liga, we are two points behind Real Madrid. We've played them earlier on in the season three times. We lost in the La Liga 2-1, and then we also managed, we did manage to beat them in the Super Cup of 4-2 on aggregate, but this is it, guys. We need to win this match against Real Madrid. We were so unlucky We've been so unlucky in this La Liga campaign. We've been we drew against Atleti, we drew against Real Sociedad, we lost against Real Madrid. We only just narrowly won against um, Atleti. So um, yeah, it's going to be tough. And also we have three crucial first team players out, along with Messi, Busquets, Suarez. <laughs> It's just ridiculous, and Samuel Umditi. So we're going to be having to play a weakened squad, 4-3-3, David Villa, Dembele, Coutinho, Eriksen, Rakitic, Verratti. In the back line, we're going to have to put De La Feo as left back, and we're going to have to put Hordy Alba as our centre back. Okay, guys, so let's get stuck into it. We need to win this match, or Real Madrid have to lose points in their last four matches, which... I don't know. I don't know if they're seriously going to do it. This is a very good Real Madrid squad that has scored 30-plus goals between Ronaldo and Diego Costa. Okay, guys, this is it. The grudge match to decide the La Liga campaign. If we beat Real Madrid here today, we will be ahead of them by a point. But if we lose, we're going to be potentially five points behind the pack with four matches to be played. I've had a very tough season, especially just with results not coming off. More luck than everything. I don't think I wasn't playing badly. I just kept on rattling posts. And now with four crucial first team players out, can I go and beat Real Madrid here today with Umtiti, Busquets, Suarez, and Messi out? An attacker. Two midfielders, and of course, a defender. Ronaldo, Mayora up front. Um, it's a very strong squad. Lorente, Modric, Casemiro, Navas, Sergio Ramos in the centre-back position. Asensio on the ball. Finds Luka Modric, finds Ronaldo. No, nearly slipped him in. Man, my back line is just under fire. Delafeu pushing up from that left that left back position. He's basically playing as a left wing back. Gets the shot away on Ramos. Eriksen from the corner kick finds Horty Alba. It's only as far as Marco Verratti who finds Rakitic and rattles the crossbar from outside the edge of the area. The number four, the Croat. Oh my god, even Luka Modric, his Croatian counterpart, jumped into it. Oh, we've hit the bar again. Dembele. Come on, Dembele. Throw on goal. What is that? Oh... We should be 2-0 up. That's embarrassing. How Dembele has a better finesse than that. Luca. Back to Asensio. Oh, fuck. Right off. 1-0. Just before the 42nd. Asensio at the edge of the area. Non-preferred foot, by the way. Capitalizes. But Dembele can't. How has he hooked that around with his right? We're getting some really cool camera angles here, I have to say. But we're 1-0 down to Real Madrid. David Villa pops it over the top to Coutinho. He beats cover, how convincingly. Come on, hold it up, Coutinho. Find some space. Only as far as Ericsson, the Great Dane. Finds Dembele. 
who can't slip through. In the second half now. Oh, here we go. David Villa breaks away. David Villa hits the crossbar as well. What is this? Verratti. Oh, here we go. Oh, I've just beaten my man here. David Villa. David Villa makes it 1-1. Never fear. David Villa is here. It's 1-1. Just before the 50th. 79 rated. Gone down one. David Villa, the club legend. The Barcelona legend. Comes back and scores. I guess this is his first goal in the La Liga. He's got quite a few in the Super Cup. Uh, he probably got more assists than anything. But what a strike. He beating like Ramos, the captain. But we're just missing Suarez and Messi. Busquets is so key. He's like our key defender. Most of my midfields are really good going forward. Busquets is sort of the key man that's really, really holding out. It's 1-1. Dembele gives it away to Luca, the two former... Tottenham Hotspur men. Ronaldo beats Jordi Alba. Oh, it's just unfair. It really, really is. It's 2-1. Ronaldo C makes it 2-1 on the 80th. And it's not looking good. We needed a win, no or less. Mares with the cutback. Come on, Riyad Mares. And that's it. The full-time whistle has blown. I fear that we've lost the La Liga in that match due to just poor shots, unlucky shots, rattling crossbars, nets, just, just rattling crossbars and, and posts. Um, we were really unlucky, unlucky with injuries. Losing Suarez, Messi, my two 90-rated players. We lost Busquets, my key central defender. And then, of course, we are uh, oh, fuck off. I've just had a simulation match here against Real Sociedad because it was already too late. Real Madrid are way too in front. And Real Madrid have officially won the La Liga. Now, let's now look to the UEFA Champions League. We've made it all the way to the semi-final, sorry, the finals of it against Bayern Munich. We're going to have to rotate. A couple of my players are back, but it's going to be tough once again because not everyone's back fully fit from injury, except for Messi, Suarez, Umtiti, and Busquets are still out. We're going to have to rotate quite heavily. Never fear, Messi is here. He was out for four months as well, so... Ah, uh, that just sucks. We did win the domestic cup in Spain, the Copa de España. We also managed to win the Super Copa, so we won two trophies. We lost La Liga, but we have a chance here today to upset the Bavarians, who have lost Thomas Muller to, of course, AC Milan. Ali's going to be up top, Coutinho Dembele, Messi's going to be at the cam. I'm going to play Busquets as my centre-back instead of Jordi Alba. He's going back to his position. But let's get stuck into the Champions League final against Bayern Munich. Ronaldo, the player of the month. It just it just sucks. We just lost. We lost 2-1 two, two, in those two matches in the Liga, you know? We're playing at Old Trafford. That's good. The Theatre of Dreams, my home stadium. Okay, guys, here we go. The Champions League final in Manchester, England. A neutral ground, I would say. Obviously, from my perspective, I play at Old Trafford quite a bit through my United career mode, so I've got a bit of a one-up. But we've flown all the way from Barcelona and Catalonia, and obviously, well, Bayern Munich have flown all the way from Munich in Germany, and it's going to be a good match. James Rodriguez, the former Los Blancos man, is going to be starting along with Robert Lewandowski. Who else are they fielding? Ribery, Robin, Martinez, Vidal, Hummels, Boateng, David Alaba, Neuer, Joshua Kimmich as the right back. So Robert Lewandowski leading the line. We've got Busquets and we've got Messi back. Come on, Barcelona. Deli Alley has won the header. Messi feeds it to Coutinho. He's picked up a lot of assists this season. I would have liked him to score more. Wow, what is this? Frank Ribery out of position. And Dembele slashes David Alaba there, who was dropping back. But Dembele makes it 1-0 just before the 12th. I don't really know what caused so much space on that flank. Why was David Alaba tracking so far forward there? But Dembele scores his third goal of the Champions League. 
Messi finds Dembele again. This looks it's not as much space after conceding that first goal. David, oh my god. Manuel Neuer comes out and clears. In the second half now, Messi. What is this? Get off! Get off fucking Deli Ali, you mutt. Oh, this might be in our favour. Nut no, Jerome Botan gets to the header. Fuck! Rakitic. Oh, Manuel Neuer hits out a glove. Just go for that, Dembele. Oh! If that went top left. Messi breaking away back for Barcelona. He's tackled in the box. That's a penalty. David Alaba is having an atrocious match. He's amazing on FIFA as well. We get a yellow. Get the fuck out of here. It's a red. Nah, I'm probably being a little bit more harsh. I'm getting too into it. It was probably more of a yellow. Cutting down Messi there. I've just subbed off Messi as well on that mark. No, I haven't. Oh, he hasn't got very good penalties. Oh, okay. 75. We'll let Rakitic step up. Bury it to the right. Hit it. Hit it hard. Hit it. True. Strike it. True. And it was true. It was hit smartly. Rakitic makes it 2-0 just before the 83rd in the Champions League final. We might fluff up in the league campaign, but Barcelona are Champions League winners potentially once again. What a hit from the Croat. Excellent stuff. I think yeah, I think Suarez is our designated penalty kick taker, but he's obviously out with injury. I don't believe it. Okay, guys, it's time to make some substitutions now. We've got Verratti, we've got Villa, we got uh, Davavia, we got uh, Suarez, Delafeo. So let's bring on Marco Verratti. Let's bring on Paul. No, let's bring on Denis Suarez. For uh, Rakitic, even though he scored that penalty, scored a goal. Um, I was already going to bring him off, probably already. And should I bring on David Villa or Delafeu for like Coutinho because he's getting a little bit knackered? All right, let's go with Ali Delafeu Dembele, DDA, DAD, Dad <laughs> up front, Messi, Suarez, and Verratti in the midfield. Delafeu charging forward. Gets the ball short, and Messi just couldn't rise to the occasion. He's just too short. Messi with the cut back. Nearly put it in more favour for, for Bayern Munich. Dembele. Deli Alli's got huge space here with Dennis Suarez. What is with the magnet fucking crossbar, man? Dembele. Charging forward. Don't worry, we're going to hit the crossbar or the post or something stupid. Oh, no. Nah, <laughs> took a heavy touch. Delefeu. Ah, oh, what did I do that for? I was being cheeky. I should have just hit it. But that's it. The full-time whistle has blown. She's all over Red Rover. We have won the UEFA Champions League. We technically won a treble, winning the Super Cup against Real Madrid at the start of the season. We managed to win the Domestic Cup, the Copa de España, against Atletico Madrid 1-0. And we also managed to beat... Bayern Munich in the Champions League final. I'm very, very disappointed that we um, didn't do well in the Liga itself. We just didn't start off well enough, you know. We had that on our debut match of the season. We drew 1-1 against Real Batis. We also drew against Diego Simeone's Atletico. And then we managed to go and lose on aggregate in our two La Liga matches against Real Madrid. 4-2 on aggregate. Which is quite ironic. Because that's the exact scoreline we managed to beat them in the Super Cup. You know, and they've, um, yeah, they've actually won the league quite convincingly. Man, it just sucks. So due to having a poor and shaky start, we've, you guys know how ridiculous those crossbar and posts were. There's not much you can do about it. Hey, you win some, you lose some, um, you draw some, and in this case, we lost. You know, you can't win every career mode at the end of the day. You can't win the treble, but that's just sort of how it is, you know, hey? Uh, Marseille managed to beat Sporting. We're going to be running through the stats now. So, guys, I can't stress this enough. Let me know in the comment section down below if you'd like to see Season 2 of the Barcelona career mode. I do have a bit of a grudge, of course, to come back and try and win the Liga. Probably try and go back-to-back -back with Champions Leagues. And if so, players, you would like me to sign. If not, let me know what other career modes you would like me to do. Maybe to go back to. Let me know in the comment section down below. Because your comments heavily influence uh, my sort of decision. Nothing is set in stone, of course. So, Manchester United win the Premier League. Followed by Man City, Arsenal, Spurs. Looks like Brighton, Burnley getting relegated. Bayern Munich win their respected lead, the Bundesliga. Juventus win um, Serie A, of course. Rangers win the Scottish League. Controversial. Besiktas winning theirs. And, yeah. 
We've won the Champions League here, the team of the competition. Fuck off. Horty Alba, PK, CM Du. What? How does that back line win La Liga in the team of the season? You know, like, what the fuck? You think things Real Madrid won it. It's just bullshit, man. I don't know how the hell they aggregate it, but it's, it's quite ridiculous if I do say so myself. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below, players, you would like me to sign. If you're not enjoying the series, feel free to leave a dislike. Let me know in the comments, players, you would like me to sign, of course, and other career modes you want me to do. Stay tuned for more FIFA 18 content on the channel. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box these days to get all the notifications for the channel. You have to click subscribe, of course, and the bell to join the notification squad. I do enjoy reading those comments. If you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, maybe some PSN and Xbox codes to buy packs for Ultimate Team, or maybe just some games, I really do recommend checking out my affiliation link, G2. There's some really good prices, so even just going looking around, to be honest. Anyway, uh, uh, Patreon, Stinger there as well. Come and join the community on Steam. My name is Ben Simpsy. Stay tuned for more videos on the channel. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name is Ben Simpsy. Goodbye. Mares whips it into the box. Royce! <laughs> that is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce.